Okay, so in this video, we are looking at trigonometry with right triangles, and we're specifically looking at this practice problem, trigonometry ratios in right triangles. So I want to show you how to work through these problems. So in each of these problems, they give you a triangle, and they tell you to find a trig ratio. In this case, they're looking for cosine. So sine, cosine, and tangent, they're just ratios, right? So they're ratios of sides. So we have this acronym, SOKOTOA. If you've never heard it before, don't worry, I'll explain it. You have SOKOTOA, and what SOKOTOA does is it quickly shows you um, what each of the ratios represent. So sine, this is for sine, is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. Cosine is the ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse, and tangent is the ratio of opposite over adjacent. Adjacent, adjacent, excuse me. So the cosine, let's look at the cosine. In this case, we're looking at the cosine of this angle right here, and that's alpha. The cosine of alpha. If we look at this mnemonic, it tells us that it's the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So we can write it as a fraction. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of your right triangle. So here it's 25. And then the only side left that's next to the angle is called the adjacent side. And it's all based on whatever angle you're looking at. So the angle at, at A over here, alpha, the side that's adjacent to it is this side, AC, and not AB because AB is already defined as the hypotenuse. Even though AB is technically next to the angle, it's the longest side. So it would be 24 over 25. It's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and that would be choice B. Let's go to the next one. Okay, now we want to find the sine of alpha. So I set up my little device to remember, Sokotoa. Sokotoa. So Sokotoa. So we get the sine, and that tells us that's the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse from the angle you're looking at. So find the angle we're looking at, which is alpha, right here. The opposite side from that angle is here. It's 7 over the hypotenuse here, which is the longest side, 25. So it's 7 over 25, it's choice B. Okay, if you scroll down you can see the other answers they gave us. Let's keep going. Now we've got the tangent of beta. So we set up Sokotoa. Sokotoa. And now we're looking at the tangent, which does is the only ratio of these three that doesn't involve the hypotenuse. The tangent of beta equals opposite over adjacent. So here's beta, the opposite side is here. It's eight over the adjacent side right here, which is 15, so it's eight over 15. And out of all of our choices, that is choice D. Now, as we finish up, just remember the, what was really happening here, this is asking for the cosine of beta. These words, sine, cosine, and tangent, right? They are the way that we describe specific ratios. So the word cosine exists because when we say cosine, we know what we're talking about. We're saying the cosine of the angle beta is literally the ratio of the adjacent side, in this case three, over the hypotenuse. It's a faster way of saying that idea, right? Otherwise, if you didn't have this word cosine, you'd have to say a lot. You'd have to say, okay, if I'm at angle B, and I take the ratio of the side uh, that's adjacent to it, 3, and divide it by the side that's the longest, the hypotenuse, what would I get? Do you see all the things I have to say there? Instead of saying all of that, or some abbreviated version of that, I have the ultimate abbreviation right here. It's the word cosine. The word cosine describes that ratio and communicates with other people what ratio of the triangle we're talking about. So in this case, it's 3 out of 5. So sine, cosine, and tangent, and all the trig ratios, these words that we have, quickly summarize the ratios that we're talking about. It's meant to, to clarify our communication so we know exactly what the intent is. Thank you.